Uh, meanwhile, uh, uh, whatever did happen to Easter, everybody? It's a good question. And uh, certainly uh, my Labour friends in Westminster have got egg on their face, uh, uh, as it were. That, that was a joke. I mean, uh, um, um, uh, you should have said Easter egg yeah, on their I know, face. Yeah, I, I know, I know, worked. I know, I know. You can see why I'm not a comedian. Yeah. Um, uh, I think you're quite funny, but not in a good oh, way. Oh, hey. Right, sorry, um, go sorry. So, back, so they've got Easter egg on their face uh, over the... Um, uh, for seemingly forgetting uh, it's Easter. And it's a reminder, really, uh, uh, to the left, of, you know, that they... Yeah, they, because what they did is they put Ramadan messages up and then uh, they didn't replace them with Easter until 5.30 yesterday afternoon when most, most, most of the commuters in Whitehall had gone home for the Easter weekend and so never actually saw it. So it's a reminder to the left to, uh, to remember that they uh, need to celebrate uh, all festivals. Yeah, all that's it. I've got nothing against celebrating yeah. Ramadan. Not, nothing against uh, it being celebrated around the country. We've got supermarkets saying, are you stocking up for Ramadan? Uh, why don't they say, are you stocking up for Ramadan and Easter? Why is it that Oxford Street and Regent Street right now are festooned with uh, celebratory lights uh, only celebrating well, Ramadan? The one what is that about? Well, that, that, that's interesting because they're being paid for by a private individual, which is which is weird. That if, if they can't afford to do both, uh, or, or you know they can't find a matching donor, then they clearly shouldn't do it. But this this display, which is literally just a display in in the window of the city hall in Westminster, it's just dark. No, do you know what? I, I do have a problem with this. I do, and I will say it again. I and do I've too. Said it before what i have a problem with this is a christian country now that doesn't obligate you to believe in god that doesn't obligate you to go to church our monarch our head of state is also the head of the church of england we have had a christian heritage for two millennia now and it is the fundamentals upon which our democracy is built upon which our social structures built upon which our cultural and social mores are built and in many respects our morality so whether or not you worship or not christianity has played a massive role in this country, in its traditions, and is very much even still an invisible glue that binds people together. Now, the problem I have is I don't mind people having whatever religion they want, practice it privately. But what I do have a problem with is this constant erosion, dilution, and not just that, actually a kicking constantly yeah. in the shins of our heritage, of our culture. Now, people can say what they like about Christianity, open season, say what you like, because that's in Christianity. You turn the other cheek, you don't get upset. But what I'm seeing increasingly is Christianity being picked on, being minimalized, being forced out, and instead we're ushering in at a rate of knots and glorifying a religion and a culture that comes with that religion, which has nothing to do with this country and its history. And in many respects, what people are doing is cultural vandalism. They're replacing what has worked for us and what is ours for two millennia with something brand new. And that, I think, is absolutely an abrogation of duty. Matthew, it is cultural we vandalism. Yeah, I, <laughs> have a drink. Uh, no, seriously, yeah. I, I it's, hear and you. Once it's done, you can't turn Here's the clock back thing. again. It's it, done. OK, so I don't really care about the religious aspect, but this is not a secular state. This is... Uh, the official religion of this country is the Church of England, which is a Christian church. And I can't understand why Easter, traditional British Easter, seems to be taking a serious second place to Ramadan. I don't get it. I don't understand it. By all means, celebrate Ramadan, Ramadan but celebrate Easter as well. Why, why, why are we getting rid of Easter? It seems ridiculous. Well, I'm going to speak up for a group that may be seen as woke, but actually at least are even-handed, which is the National Secular Society, who have been leading the charge, actually, um, uh, uh, and obviously, you know, they don't want Christianity too much in public life, although they accept at the moment that it's the, the, the national religion. But they were the ones who pounced when this uh, Quran verse was put up. I think it was a voice from the Quran, but certainly an Islamic message was put up on the departure board at King's Cross mm. Station, which you wouldn't have at mm. Easter or Christmas. You might get Happy Christmas or, you know, uh, at, actually a good Friday. Oh, happy holidays happy these days. Oh, happy holidays. Dare but, not so so at, least, at least they are, um, uh, you, know, you know, sometimes it seems that uh, most of the left are sort of embarrassed. So, so on people That's on Right. Who, who would never go near a church, uh, 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 you know, but feel they have to say yes to this. And my view is we have... Well, look, the Church of England, the old joke about it is it doesn't, it's, a church, it's our national religion but doesn't believe in God. You know, it's not the most um, didactic of churches. It's a no. kind of gentle, very British, you might say, um, uh, faith. Um, and therefore, we kind of have this kind of acceptance. We have a national church, but religion plays a kind of gentle role in our life. And I think that we're at a, break, a tipping point, really, where um, it seems that that's being sort of pushed out yeah. Yeah. A, a different sort of... Uh, um, uh, we want to hear from you, by yeah. the way. Uh